Welcome to this tutorial on how to get started with MyFitnessPal and tracking your macros. Uh, my screen name there, as you can see, is Rosa84. And uh, my name is Rosa. I'm from Own Your Eating. So I'm going to help you get started and set up with your macronutrient goals. You can see right now I'm already in the more screen. But ordinarily, you may well be starting off from the home screen when you first get logged in. So that's what that would normally look like. But you want to go ahead and click on those three little dots in the bottom right hand corner more in order to pull up all the different settings. You're going to choose goals. And then under goals, you can see there's the nutrient goals section. You're going to select calorie, carbs, protein, and fat goals. And that's going to be where you input your macronutrient numbers so that you can keep track of them on a daily basis. So we're going to go ahead in a second and go to the next screen. And just so you know, at the top there, that information is where you will have input all the information at the beginning when you first got started. Um, but if you, as you're going along, you'll want to be adding your weight from the more screen where you see that little plus sign rather than adjusting it in your goals section. So just a side note there, you don't want to be adjusting that information because that will update your daily macronutrient goals and caloric intake. So we don't want to be changing that unless your coach tells you to. So moving on, we want to go ahead and input our calories, carbs, protein, and fat. So we select that option under nutrition goals. You're going to click on carbohydrates or protein, any of those macronutrients, and the dial will appear. You can scroll and make the adjustments that you need. And you'll see I have the premium feature here, so I'm able to adjust my macronutrients based on grams. If you have the unpaid basic free version, then you will adjust it according to percentages. So you'll be able to set your macronutrients closely to your percentages. This next screen here is just another opportunity for you to set customized macronutrient goals according to different days. So maybe on a Sunday or on a Thursday, you take a rest day and you find that that's just too much food for you to eat on those days when you're resting. Um, that's something I've been playing around with recently. It's not something that we typically prescribe for all our clients, but um, I'm always experimenting. So like I said, I'm just testing this out now and setting customized macronutrient goals. And this is how you would go, you know, go ahead and set that for yourself. You'd simply select a day, uh, click on one of the macros and it brings up the dial so you can make your, those adjustments. Going back to the goals screen, the only other thing to be aware of is under the fitness goals section, there's an exercise calories um, area right there at the bottom. You can see that mine is switched to off. I highly recommend that you keep that off and I believe that is also a premium feature. So if you are using the free version, just make sure that you're not logging your exercise in the app because that will make a uh, an adjustment to your daily caloric intake. The app will automatically make those adjustments and you might not even be aware of them. So it'll be changing your daily macronutrient goals, which is not good. So heading on back to the home screen, you can see at the top there in that header, I have my tab set up macronutrient focus so that I can see as I'm tracking throughout the day, as soon as I hop into the app, I can easily see when it's set to macronutrient focus, how many macros I have remaining for the day. So I've logged my breakfast, lunch, and um, what I expect to eat for dinner, and that's what I have left so far. So I know I need to plan and put in some more food to help me get down to triple zero for the day. So once I'm in my diary, I also make sure I have that header set to macronutrient focused. And then as you can see, I also have different headers for each of my meals. And you can go and change that, customize that to your preferences by going to settings. So go back to the home screen, click on settings, click on diary settings, and then you're going to select customize meal names. So I have six different meal names in there, which just suit me, but you can definitely change any of those to something that makes more sense for yourself. You know, we have a client who likes to use uh, the header success path 
for one of their meals, which I love. And really that can just mean whatever that means to you. You know, that might be uh, a bowl of delicious yogurt and fruit, or maybe it's your fun foods, whatever that success path looks like to you. So feel free to customize your meal names and make things more easy for yourself. And other than that, from the home screen, there's options for you to be able to make friends with others. And if you want to be friends, I am Raza84. 